Hi, my name is Janani Ravi and I am a proud Plural Sight author. I did my masters in electrical engineering from Stanford and have worked at companies such as Google and Microsoft. Welcome to the Master Plural Sight series. Here you are logged into Plural Sight and you are looking to master AI and ML. Now, let's say you already know what you want to study in the field of machine learning. Your organization has a new project in natural language processing and you want to understand how you can build classification models and work with text data using the PyTorch deep learning framework. You will search for natural language processing, select the option that seems the most relevant to you and go to that course directly. Once you're on the course landing page, you can take a quick look if this course makes sense for you. When you scroll down, you see that all of these topics are relevant. Courses are usually part of a learning path. Here, building deep learning solutions with PyTorch is the path for this course. Let's click through and explore what it has to offer. The landing page for this path gives you a quick overview of what this path is about. You can see at the beginner level, you can learn about the foundations of the PyTorch deep learning framework, build your first PyTorch solution. If you scroll further down, you can use convolutional neural networks for image classification, perform neural style transfer with PyTorch. And if you scroll even further down, you can see how you can use transfer learning and deploy PyTorch models in production. But what if you are a beginner to the field of machine learning and you're looking to explore paths? Click on all skill paths and this will give you a comprehensive overview of all of the paths that you can use to accelerate your learning with Plural Sight. Here are all of the topics on the left navigation pane. You can scroll down further and view paths from vendors as well. I'm going to scroll back up and head directly to the topic that I'm interested in, AI and ML. Click on the topic on the left navigation pane and this will bring you all of the learning paths for this topic in Plural Sight. There is the PyTorch path that we just explored. There is a scikit-learn path, a TensorFlow path, and there are paths for cloud platforms based ML as well. Machine learning literacy is a path that is suitable for beginners. So I'm going to click through and take a look at what this path has to offer. As I scroll down, I see at a beginner level, this path will teach me how to build my first machine learning solution. At the intermediate level, we have designing a machine learning model, creating machine learning models. And at the advanced level, we have deploying machine learning solutions. Let's say you're familiar with machine learning. You are not a complete newbie. How do you measure where exactly you stand? How do you figure out the gaps in your knowledge? Well, you'll use the Skill IQ. Skill IQ will test you on your machine learning literacy skills and give you pointers as to where you can start. If you click on measure now, this will take you to a skill assessment. The Skill IQ is a way for you to test yourself against your peers. If you start the assessment, you'll be presented with a series of questions based on ML. You can select your answers or you can say, I don't know yet if you're not familiar with this particular topic. You submit your answers and you answer about 20 to 25 questions. And at the end of the skill assessment, every question is timed, mind you. Plural site will then present you with your skill IQ results. Now, I'm going to go back to all of the ML paths here and then head over to a path where I have completed the assessment for my skill IQ. I'm going to search for that specific path. I'll simply search for the term scikit-learn, a great framework for beginners. If you're just getting started with machine learning, this is the right path for you. Select this path, building machine learning solutions with scikit-learn and click through and go to the path landing page. Here is a skill assessment that I have completed. Skill IQ will grade you against your peers in the industry and categorize you as novice, proficient or expert. And it will also give you a detailed evaluation of where your gaps are. Click on view details and you'll see the evaluation results for the skill IQ assessment that I completed. When I filled out my assessment, I did better than 93% of my peers 
and as i scroll down here on this page you can see that floral site recommends very specific topics that i need to cover this gap assessment and topic recommendations are based on the questions i got wrong in my skill assessment i get direct pointers to what courses and what topics i need to cover i definitely want to explore this path further click on the path link to the top left and here is the main scikit learn path i'm going to expand the beginner category and click on this course here building your first scikit learn solution now any course you watch you probably want to study the course in detail and take some notes here is a video that you might be watching currently on building a machine learning workflow as you are watching this video you might want to pause and take a few notes the notes tab is right there next to your video click on the notes tab and you can add a little note here about this particular video and topic floral site will associate the exact time stamp within the video with your note you can use hashtags within your note as well here is my hashtag hash workflow what i'm going to do now is view other clips in this course and take some notes so i'll have a series of notes as i learn how to choose the right estimator in scikit learn here is the right estimator hash estimator hash classification these are my tags i do this with yet another clip that i watch once again this is about choosing the right estimator hash estimator and hash clustering now that i've saved a few notes you can view all of your notes at any point in time by clicking on view all notes and here they are all of the notes that you've painstakingly made available at your fingertips observe the tags on the right hand side of your screen you can select individual tags in order to filter the notes and get only those notes that you're looking for if you click on cross next to the tag the filtering will be removed if you've completed a course and you feel that you might come back to it make sure that you bookmark your course another option is for you to add your course to a channel a channel allows you to create logical groupings of courses so courses that belong together maybe are associated with the same topic can be added to a single channel i'm creating a new channel here called scikit learn and i'm going to add this course to this channel and once i have several courses in a single channel i can share that channel with other learners in my organization let's head back to the landing page for our machine learning solutions with scikit learn path here is another course that's interesting model evaluation and selection using scikit learn this is an advanced course once you know how to build regression and classification models you should know the right techniques to use to evaluate them i'm going to bookmark this course as well and i'm going to add this course to the scikit learn channel the channels we've created will be available in this drop down i select the scikit learn channel and this course has been successfully added to that channel as well now what if you want to quickly get to all of your channels click on the channel option and there you see the channel that we just created named scikit learn is available for us to access you can click through and view that both of the courses that we added to this channel are present in here a quick way to access your bookmarks is to click on this bookmarks icon off to the top right of your screen this will give you all of the courses that you've bookmarked giving you a quick way to access your favorite content I hope this little tour has given you an idea of how Floral Site can help you with your machine learning journey. Here is a trick that I have figured while learning from courses. It makes sense to watch every course twice. The first time around you're only getting a feel for what exactly you can accomplish using a certain technology. It's the second time around when you're watching a course that the real learning occurs.